Many of you are familiar with NextGen, the FAA initiative that facilitated key modernization of our national airspace system. Through NextGen, the agency fundamentally changed how air traffic controllers see, navigate, and communicate with aircraft operators and pilots. Performance-Based Navigation, or PBN, is a major part of that modernization. PBN procedures replace compass-based headings with more predictable routes not subject to wind drift, weather, and pilot technique. The advanced procedures and technologies enhance real-time surveillance of aircraft location, altitude, and speed, reduce reliance on air traffic controller intervention, and increase flight path precision. At its core, PBN is a revolutionary safety enhancement. Procedural aircraft separation is designed into the process. Simply put, PBN reduces risk by placing aircraft on precise, predictable, and efficient paths. PBN delivers many benefits to ATC, flight crews, and airports. PBN procedures make it easier for controllers to sequence multiple streams of traffic onto final approach queues. This precision allows for simultaneous approaches to more closely spaced parallel runways that might otherwise call for staggered approaches. These operations fall under the term established on RNP or EOR. EOR is an application of RNP to help controllers maintain aircraft separation standards at all times. EOR allows for better use of existing airfield infrastructure by providing consistent, efficient paths and optimizing the sequencing of traffic from multiple directions and to multiple runways. Controllers can sequence arrivals on an RNP downwind leg with straight-in arrivals. Multiple airports in a busy metropolitan area can deconflict their respective traffic flows. Airports with single runways benefit too. Here's a real-life example at San Diego Airport. Even with just one runway, San Diego currently flies the third highest number of RNP arrivals in the country, after Denver and Chicago Midway. PBN-enabled procedures, combined with optimized profile descent, significantly reduce emissions around the airport and surrounding the metropolitan area. EOR operation at Denver International Airport shows how PBN enhances multiple runway operations. Aircraft flying the downwind on the RNP arrival procedure to runway 34 right take a much shorter path than aircraft arriving to the same runway using legacy ILS procedures. They're on the ground by the time ILS arrivals ahead of them are just beginning their final approach. In this scenario, RNP arrivals fly around 30 fewer miles than ILS arrivals. In the next example, RNP arrivals from both east and west downwind legs fly short paths to runways 34 right and 35 right. Conventional ILS approaches are simultaneously flown to runway 35 left. RNP at Denver provides more consistent arrival queues to multiple runways, even for aircraft not flying an RNP procedure. Airlines have found their savings of fuel and time in the air from RNP arrival more than outweighs the downside of taxiing farther on the ground. Access to shorter, more precise paths regardless of weather is the ideal scenario. Time-based traffic information, combined with technologies like advanced weather prediction, increases situational awareness, especially at night and during low visibility conditions. Flexible routes and terminal procedures allow pilots and controllers to quickly adapt to abnormal routing scenarios, like route closure and severe weather avoidance. PBN procedures are repeatable, predictable, and consistent. The FAA aims for global standardization of PBN specifications to operate with the highest level of safety and efficiency available. The FAA will continue to provide controllers and pilots with the tools needed to do just that.